Oh. Okay, so hello everyone, and welcome back to Sherlock Holmes the Devil Dar Daughter. This is Sean, and I will be trying to play this through again. No, I've, I've already did this part. I've done all of this part, but there was something that happened that made me lose everything, so I have to do this whole part over again so that people can watch. Yes, it's locked. Okay. So, we have to find a way inside of this place as, uh, I think his name was... Uh, I forgot his name. Oh, Wilkins, I think? Yeah, Wilkins, I believe. Alright, so we sneak into the yard here, and we have to... If you would move forward, please. I had to redo the whole section from climbing up the chimney elsewhere because of the autosave system. Like, it did not keep me up there. So, here we go. Yeah. Okay, so, I already know what the bags of food are, I've already talked to all this stuff. Hey, guess what? I can't go in. It's too dangerous to enter. I don't even know why they have an option for that. I can't see what's inside. I can't see what's inside. Yep. Go figure. So we're going to the back here, and now I love the fact that this it's too dangerous for him to go inside, yet he was earlier, you know, just walking over small two by fours, over a sheer drop down to the street. I can't see what's inside. So I'm just going to quickly go around this part and do the parts that matter. Now. Wow. A lot of expensive stuff. So, here we go. Coat of arms. Coat of arms. It might help Mr. Holmes. I'll make a drawing of it. And there we go. So we... To report to Mr. Holmes. Let's get outside before I get caught. So, that's the rest of the section here. If I had known that it would have been that quick, I would have probably have just finished that in the last part, but the last part was already getting long. But, there you go. So we've got this part here. Now, I'm still going to try and give as much commentary as I, as I want, and I'm going to explain why I chose things originally, but I had lost information. And I find something out here that I did not know about, so we're going to continue on to this part. Oh, I wish I hadn't lost all my stuff. I'm not, and I'm not too fond of the autosaving feature of this game. Wigan's tale was quite unusual. What do you make of what he found, Holmes? Okay, so, yeah. Tab to examine the item brought by Wiggins, except that it's right here, so I had to click on this first. Wiggins did a good job. Okay, so let's see what we got here. Uh, what was the boy's name? I want to check out character bios real quick. So, here we go. We have a drawing of the coat of home coat of arms that Wiggins found. Yep, I was right. Okay. So, the guy's name was George. Okay. Not attrition. Coat of arms. Okay, so... Uh... Yeah, I looked at... My, I, there was one part that I forgot about. I'm like, okay, I recognize. I should recognize one of the, these names. Let me have a tiger skin thing here. Okay, so let's go ahead and examine the coat of arms. All right, so it's not this one right here, but I do want to just bring, bring up all of the possibilities here because there's some fun little books in here. 100 like uh, legendary English oaks, plant f hormones, exotic plants volume four poisonous. Uh, Nico Tayana Tabaka. I'm going to spell. I'm pronouncing that wrong. I'm sure of it. Mishrika fragrance. And then we've got in medicine, we've got snake oil. Yeah. Cocaine, toothache drops. Tuberculosis is the killer. First aid. And body chemistry, volume two. I didn't want to go to the more newspapers yet. The newspapers I, are just like years, apparently. Uh, then under history, we've got Acts of Union 1800. Maya civilization in Central America. Maya civilization in Central America. I don't know why I said Maya. Uh, Roman history. Napoleon. Green Dragon Tavern. Technology. Why not dynamite? I want this book. I really do. The typewriter is the future. Eh, for a while. La Sarpos uh, Parish Transportation. Nikola Tesla and Edison Machine Works. Uh... Economic Sciences, Urban Economics, Econ Economy of the UK, Rural Economies, 
Global Economy, Das Kapital, Arts and Architecture, Institute of British Architects, Antique Art of the British Museum, Houses of Parliament, Early Raelia, uh, Riley, right? I, I'm not sure how to pronounce that, so yeah, if you have no know how to pronounce it, go ahead and tell me in the comments below. The work of Edward uh, Armitage, I'm still probably sure I'm pronouncing that wrong. I'm just curious, how this goes from 1880 to 1894. And now here's what I actually want, because under here, marks and symbols. Clearly, what's going to have to go to Mars? So I'm kind of curious what other books we have here. Chemistry, blood tests, vaporization technique, toxic metal in hair. Well, interesting. Textile fi fibers origins, chlorine. Just, just a book on chlorine. Poisons and toxins, hemlock seeds, digitalis poison, atropa belladonna, cyadine and mercury, arsenic, the king of poisons. Wounds and injuries, these gunshot wounds, abrasions and evolutions, incision wounds, head injuries, blunt trauma. I'm gonna skip to the, I'm gonna skip that one and go to badges and medals. Order of St. Patrick, Wolf Jack, Je suis Press, uh, Victoria Cross. Royal Red Cross, Badge of Military Merit. Martial Arts, Boxing, The Noble Art, Sedate and Kill, Volume 2, well, geez. Three Steps to Surviving a Waterfall, What Martial Arts, okay. Bitsitsu uh, Kane Fighting Style, and Marquis uh, of uh, Queensberry Rules. Criminal, uh, criminalistics, Anthrop uh, anthropometry, oh my god, I'm bad at pronouncing things, fingerprinting new methods, that's cool, preserving food, uh, footprints, food prints, that sounds horrible, uh, forensic techniques, and toxicology and ballistics. I'm surprised that's not under poisons, but I suppose that makes sense. Now here's what we actually need. Marks and symbols, the divine syndicates, the royal potato ca uh, cans, merchandise marks and symbols, English coat of arms, and of course, butler's pawn sh shop. Sure. Okay, here we go. So this is what we actually want. The coat of arms of the Marsh family, nowadays the representative of this family, is Lord Edward Marsh. Marsh. Uh, the well-known benefactor. He provides the poor people of Whitechapel with provisions, warm clothes, etc. Lord Marsh is also renowned as a co-founder of the Special Education Program, which allows poor people the opportunity of an education. Lord Marsh resides at 3 Mainsbury Road, London. Okay, so here's where I didn't know. Mr. Holmes, you have a visitor. Oh, just ask him to wait. I'm afraid that won't be possible. This young lady refuses to wait for anything. What? Father! Caitlin! <laughs> Miss Caitlin's boarding school was flooded. Everyone was sent home as if it could smell any mustier. <laughs> this is why I didn't hear. No. Possible, but you have grown up so fast. You'll be staying. Wherever will we put you? Holmes, I'll give her my room, of course. What do you have to say, Kate? You're on a new case. A respectable lady who's being blackmailed? Or is it a love story between a prince and a suffragist? However did you guess? <laughs> you will tell me, won't you, Father? Okay, so here's what I didn't know. I have never heard of Sherlock Holmes having a kid. I find out a little bit more about parts of that and we find a little bit more about parts in there i'm not going to spoil anything in case anybody didn't know because i only read a few sherlock holmes books. i enjoy sherlock holmes a lot and i like sherlock holmes stuff but i've only read a few things so i didn't know anything about kate if she was in any books uh, i would like to know what book she might be from or if this was just an invention for this game we'll see if you behave all right then have fun i'll go and unpack will you help me mrs hudson so that's what I didn't know, and that, that surprised the crap out of me, and unfortunately I can't give you that surprise twice. It's wonderful to have Kate home. 
And if I go over here. Okay, so she's helping out there while we go in. I'll go ahead and go down and go visit um, the Marsh, uh, Lord Marsh, so that we can figure this out. Why walk slowly? Why? Why would I ever do that? I, can only, I have to do it in houses, but we can go directly to Marsh's house, and when we get to Marsh's house, I'll quickly pull open and see if I have any documents to read. I don't know if I do. But, yeah, so I I already did this part, because there was, uh, I think what happened is, there was a name I had forgotten. It's like, I know I should recognize one of these names. Yes? She has grown up, hasn't she? Don't you think it's time to, to tell her? To tell her what, Watson? Oh, about her father. Never. Absolutely never. Do you hear me? Holmes... You were responsible for the death of her father. You owe her the truth. She is old enough now. I would lose her. Can't you see that? She must never know. Watson, is that clear? It won't and can't happen. So, he's clearly very protected of her, but uh, from what I'm gathering from this, they're not blood relations. Holmes was somehow responsible for her father's death, but I know nothing about. And since this is the game called The Devil's Daughter, I have a feeling that she's probably going to find out something at this point now. But I don't know. And one thing I've, I mentioned this when I first tried to record, uh, I'm incredibly curious about is, um, is this going to be one case that's going to lead into another case? Or is it going to be like one case that's going to be bigger than expected? Or is it going to be several cases? Or is it going to be like, several case uh, like is it going to be just several separate cases and then one major case or is it going to be like several cases that all get intertwined into one giant story i'm curious in how that's going to actually work because i have cases as an option at the beginning in the actual menu the main menu so i'm curious about how that's going to work we don't have anything in there new so let's go inside or knock because we're not just going to enter the guy's house come in please I love how I open the door without turning the knob. I just kind of push the door. Good day, gentlemen. Welcome to my home. How may I help you? Good day to you, Lord Marsh. My name is Sherlock Holmes, and this is my friend and colleague, Dr. Watson. Okay, so let's go ahead and go into... This is probably one of my favorite parts. Here. Now we've got red eyes. Now he's either feeling unwell or lack of sleep, but since we don't have anything to go off of yet, let's go the other way. Okay, neither way is bringing me the way I want to go. Okay, so we go down here. Okay, he's gold ring. He's a man of wealth, which we already knew, so that was kind of pointless. Um, blanket. He is ill or he's hiding something. Uh, typically when they show blankets like that, you people are ill. And that tea's still hot. Uh, Devon's Vegetable Painkiller, manufactured by Devon's and Bolton. These are powerful. These are strong painkillers. So, by that we can guess that he is sick. Uh, Lord Marsh's state of health: his temperature has, was high, higher than normal. He was experiencing a tightness in the chest and a shortness of breath during the day. I recommend increasing his daily dose of painkillers. Appointments: I think I can't tell that first thing right there, right in front of the six. I can't tell that's supposed to be a one or just like a symbol, some kind of symbol or something. I'm not sure what that, that right there is supposed to be. So I'm going to say 600 or 1600 o'clock meeting. I'm not sure. Lord Marsh and Lord Collins remind Lord Marsh of this meeting and order a, uh, and order a cab. Okay, well, clearly this isn't a cooking recipe, so Lord Marsh's personal assistant. Okay. We've got this embroidered motif. He is a member, member of a hunting club. And we've got his stethoscope. This guy's a physician. Now, oh, what did I miss? Or is that... Oh, wait, those are both... Okay, red eyes. He is, he's feeling unwell. And the blanket, he is clearly ill. 
So we're validating this because he is clearly a sick person right now. He's probably having a lack of sleep, but... Yeah. Okay. Uh, Ruben Fisher is a young man of 25. How... I'm, still not, I'm not sure how you got that, but sure. I'm also sure not sure how you got his name because no one's asked yet. And already a confident physician. He is a well-educated... Yeah, he is well-educated, mannered, and a member of a hunting club. His clothes indicate that he is financially wealthy. Reuben Fisher is not only a physician, he is also Lord Marsh's personal assistant. Lord Marsh is a wealthy man who holds a high position in society, indicated by his expensive clothes and valuable gold ring. He has dedicated his life to helping the poor. He is ill, therefore he is covered in a blanket, despite the fact that it's quite warm inside the room. Painkillers. Uh, there is an open package of powerful painkillers on Lord Marsh's table. I hope we're not disturbing you. You are with your physician? Yes, this is Dr. Reuben Fisher. But no, please, I'm intrigued by your visit, Mr. Holmes. I'm glad to hear it. The last thing I'd wish is to upset the patient. Lord Marsh, can I just say that I admire all of your efforts in assisting the poor of London? Ah, uh, yes. It is a war that we must fight on our streets and now, too, from my home. You must surely have noticed those bags full of items, clothing, and books for the unfortunate. Uh, I better keep my hand on the Q button. Um, at my own humble level, I, too, try my best to support those in need. I thought perhaps that I could be of some assistance. I don't see why not. I already have the valuable assistance of Dr. Fisher, who happens to be my personal physician. Okay, let's start with Marsh's disease. Forgive me, Lord Marsh. You're looking very pale. Might I offer Dr. Watson's assistance? That is kind of you, but I feel confident that I can provide Lord Marsh with the care that he requires. How long have you been like this, my dear? I'm fine, Dr. Watson. Don't fuss. It's only influenza. I'll be better in a few days. I can feel it already. Oh, I can browse evidence on this right here. Okay, interesting. I didn't notice that before. But he's got painkillers there. Let's let's face it, because the drawing of the coat of arms, the address, the missing Mister St uh, uh, Strowbridge, and the leaflet weren't going to matter whatsoever. Let's go, with, of course, directly to painkillers. In that case, why are you taking such powerful painkillers? Excuse me, what do you mean? Mister Holmes is referring to the pills on your table. I'm sorry, but that's a medical confidentiality. It's curious. Oh, I still love the fact that they have that. <laughs> Oddly, I'm associating it with Whitechapel. Well done. You are right. I do occasionally frequent a few hostelries over there. Would you believe it? <laughs> Not that I am a drinker. But there, dressed as a working man, I can approach the other fellows to see if they might be interested in a special job. A special job? May I ask what you're referring to? Certainly. Since Lord Marsh began his special education program in 1889, he foresaw that such people would need an occupation of some kind. And so, with or without education, we propose these opportunities to work with Lord Marsh. It offers the less fortunate a chance to help make London a better place. That's remarkable. Yes, indeed. In order to truly see, one requires vision, yes, but also insight. And Lord Marsh has believed this since he was a child. Oh... Oh, Dr. Fisher makes it all sound so romantic. Let's close this topic. Okay, see, hearing this, I really do hope that Lord Marsh is actually just blatantly a good guy. Because, look at this. Yeah. Despite my title, yes. I have to share my home with these bags full of food for the poor. Lord Marsh believes that he can help all these poor people. Okay, so let's take a look here. Lord Marsh even helps hospitals. There's a whole bunch of... Oh, wow. I, hey, nice. See, he... The provision dealing with the paupers of Whitechapel. See, there's so many things here that I like seeing. It appears that Lord Marsh spent a great deal of his money on aiding the poor. I'm intrigued by the special education program. I've never seen so many provisions for the poor. Certainly not in a lord's house. Okay, let me. I just hope that I'm going this way is not gonna. Bags full of food. Bags full of food, yeah. A, the paupers of Lambeth workhouse. C. Can I look at this one? Yes, I can. 
humanitarian aid for an orphan. It's extremely honorable to devote one's whole life to assisting the poor. Okay, so that's probably all of them because they got special thing at the end there. Here we go. Our quarterman club to celebrate our horseback riding, exploration, and hunting. Lord Marsh, hunting with his friends. Ah, my dear comrades, Lord Collins and Lord Harrington. If it wasn't for this godforsaken English malady, I'd be with those rapscallions right now. All in due time, my lord. So, yeah, right now I'm just kind of hoping it's going to end up being the doctor, not, uh... Lord, the Lord himself that's causing all this. But, who knows. Okay, so, Detective Vision. It's telling me over there. There's some papers over here. Document with seal. Let's take a look at this document with the seal, shall we? Dear Lord Marsh, here is the list of selected participants for the special education program in October. It looks to be a very promising event. I'm looking forward to it. So here's what where it came in there. I forgot all the names. All the names that we had I had forgotten, so I wanted to quickly look back on my old video or my old part of the recording and see which name should be remember because I I just can't, I'm bad with names. I just couldn't remember. It's been a week since I played this ad least so uh yeah the one we want to look at is Strobridge. that's the John Strobridge. I've seen this name before. It was on a missing persons poster. that's the one a missing persons persons poster and you can't bring up your you can't bring up quite work it out. do you have any ideas to the number of people who might owe you their lives oh, don't embarrass me mr holmes but indeed, these people have become like a family to me. That would and be a folder family, for that. Family, I imagine. <laughs> yes, the list would be longer than any of your short stories. As for how large, well, Fisher is the one who keeps record. Might we take a glance at the list? I regret that is impossible. It is confidential. I stand firm upon that point, Mr. Holmes. I quite understand. We'll most certainly send a donation towards your educational program. I shall take my leave then. I thank you both, and I wish you all the very best, gentlemen. Likewise, Mr. Holmes. Okay, so we've got this new thing. And this goes away faster than I can read it. But luckily, if you just press F1, it will come back up. I'm looking for uh, a pair of relay clues to form a deduction. And if, if they're, they're red, it, then there is no combination between them. So, let's see here. This heist and the heist, uh, her, uh, heist, first special job and special education program, I believe, are the only ones that actually can be pulled together. Uh, some fact to me. Uh, okay, that's all I wanted to do. I wanted to F1. Uh, draw a clear picture of the uh, track down the guilty person. Okay, so I can't even read that. Okay, so if they're not connected. The special job mentioned by George Hurst is not connected with this special education program. Right now, I I have nothing telling me that there is no connection between the two. And I'm assuming that I could probably switch it if I find more evidence that tells me otherwise. Uh, right. I think that's the only... Yeah. There's going to be more stuff later, but nothing else right now. And I don't think any of the other clues can be... Yeah, because the while they're still here, because these, these are still here, so there's probably going to be other connections, there's not going to be anything here. Because if I go and try and connect them, none of these other ones are connected in any way. But they're still here, unlike... The uh, program, which is gone, in that one little thing. So that was the only connection I currently have. I'm um, definitely like the little thing they can do there, though. I'm intrigued by the special. Okay. Is there something else that interests you? Lord Marsh believes that he can help all these poor people. Okay, so I think that's everything. It looks like I don't. 
have anything else I can look at, so can I go further in this guy's house out of curiosity? I can. Can I go upstairs? No, because he's got food blocking the way. I guess I'm just leaving then. Well, that works. Okay. Can't sneak up there, but I can sneak into the back here and see if Sherlock notices anything else. Okay, he can't check inside the windows. He can't check here. Of course, he can't go into there because it's locked from the inside. Well, it's going to be locked from the outside, so I guess I'm just leaving. Uh, okay, let me see here. What do I have? Dialogue. In 1889, Lord Marsh co-founded the Special Education Program for the Lower Classes. It would be that George Hurst mentioned something about this to his son, Tom. Okay, so we want to go talk to Tom. That's what we want to do. A list of names and participants of the Special Education Program. It was found at Lord Marsh's house. These were Patrick Tanner, Thomas uh, Kelly, John Strollbridge, William Thatcher, and Reginald Staple. Lord Marsh and his close friends, Lord Collins and Lord Harrington, are members of the hunting club. Dr. Fisher stated that he adopted a disguise in order to offer positions of work to London's poor folk. Lord Marsh was diagnosed with influenza. However, his illness appears to be something more serious. Okay, so we want to go there, so... Whitechapel. Um... Got saving going on here. It's about 30 minutes. I'm just worried that it's not going to save it properly. Oh, it should have saved it after I did that search, though. So I'm just going to get to Whitechapel. Oh, wait, that's right. The continue button should work. Because how, how saving seems to work in this game. Okay, it's been 30 minutes. This is a shorter episode than last time, but I kind of want to try and keep my videos down to 30 minutes until. Uh, Unless I'm running into like, oh, I'm at the final parts, or I'm just in the situation where I just can't do it. So, I'm going to stop it here. Thank you everyone so much for watching, and I will see you next time.